on my live today on Facebook and YouTube, we covered Matthew chapter 19. And my guy here from YouTube, TLX, inspired the entire conversation when he posted this information right here. And I believe that most people probably have never even considered this or thought about this. Those who believe in the Bible have never thought about it. For us who deconstruct, let's think about this and talk about this for a minute. And we'll talk about some of the other things in the next video. In this, Jesus was talking to his disciples after they had dealt with a young rich man. We'll talk about that one in another video. After the young rich man walked away saddened, the disciples said, well, we have left you. We have left our mothers and our fathers. We have left everything and we have come to be with you. So what are we to receive in heaven? And Jesus tells them, according to this scripture, that what they will receive that when Jesus is sitting on his throne, that the 12 disciples at this time frame will be sitting on 12 thrones and they will judge over the 12 tribes of Israel. First, let's just get out of the way. The fact that they're judging over the 12 tribes of Israel, they're not going to have anything to say about the Gentiles, but just the 12 tribes of Israel. Because these people are thinking that the end times is coming soon before um, the end, their end time comes, before their generation dies. They're thinking that they're going to see this end time. But the most interesting part on this one, that many people still, right now, you haven't thought about it. Who were the 12 disciples? If you think about all the 12 disciples, there is one disciple who should stick out the most. And that disciple is Judas Iscariot. He's telling the 12 disciples who include Judas Iscariot, Judas Iscariot at this time frame that they will sit on the 12 thrones. Now, if Jesus is God and Jesus already knows everything that's going to happen, then he would already know that Jesus Iscar Judas Iscariot is the one who will betray him for silver. He is the one who will give him that kiss of death. He is the one that will uh, cause him to be killed by the Sanhedrin along with the Romans. He also knows that Judas Iscariot is going to, depending upon which, which verse you read, one version, Judas Iscariot buys the potter's field. The other version, the Sanhedrin buys the potter's field. And one version, Judas uh, hangs himself. In the other version, Judas falls and he breaks open his head and his gut and they spill all out. I don't know. They're conflicting. But this Jesus character already knows who Judas Iscariot is, and yet says that he will be one of the ones who sits on a throne, not a replacement, not one of the, uh, an apostle or disciple who is made after Jesus. No, in the present moment, talking to these present disciples, saying that they, those gentlemen, will sit on thrones in heaven. So when, as a Christian, understand that when you go to your heaven, you will see Judas Iscariot sitting on a throne judging the 12 tribes of Israel judging with Jesus and the Father with the Holy Spirit being all around there make it make sense make it make sense and I know you're going to try but it's not going to make sense y'all have a great day and remember always you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.